the B-24 Liberator faded quickly from the post-war U.S. Air Force roster. Newer machines and newer strategies prevailed. An abundance of other Second World War surplus aircraft fit the Air Force's reduced needs for miscellaneous duty aircraft. A handful of shiny new B-24M Liberators, the last production model, served in the early post-war years as research aircraft for tasks like weather studies and new armaments. But these survivors were not around very long. By 1954, only one B-24 Liberator remained in U.S. Air Force service. It was on a bailment contract serving the Aeronautical Icing Research Laboratories in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Its gun turrets were removed and ferred over. By about 1949, it was given the designation EB-24M, with the E prefix denoting an electronics function. During the summer of 1954, this B-24M was assigned in retirement to the Technical Museum Collection at Lackland Air Force Base in San Antonio, Texas. The scant population of surviving B-24 Liberators owes a debt to that prescient decision. It joined a retired B-17 on Lackland's main parade ground where it stood as a display wearing many variations of paint and markings over the years. Thousands and thousands of Air Force recruits marched past the Liberator over the decades at Lackland. By the later 1960s, the displayed B-24M showed the first signs of wear and tear, as plexiglass windows were opaqued and the nose wheel doors disappeared. As the 20th century came to a close, a plan was executed that shipped the original B-24M from Lackland to the Imperial War Museum's American Air Museum at Duxford, UK, in 1999. The Brits, in return, sent a Spitfire 5C to the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force, where it represents Spitfires flown by American airmen in World War II. The 
Lackland Parade Ground Liberator was disassembled for shipment to England as photographed on May 22, 1999. The characteristic research airframe contours of the Lackland B-24M were cast in fiberglass, preserving all the quirks and patches of this Liberator, and it was resurrected at Lackland as a remarkably faithful, if non-metallic, copy. Military Aircraft Restoration Corporation of Southern California made the Doppelganger Liberator. Once in England, the original B-24M was the focus of a diligent refurbishment by the Imperial War Museum that returned wartime armaments and detailing to the Liberator for public display. The former Lackland resident Liberator received the markings of a different B-24M nicknamed Dugan that had served in the 8th Air Force. I'm Fred Johnson and you are watching the Airrail Images channel. Thank you and thanks especially for subscribing. <laughs>